the Leicester Globally uh, game this morning against St Francis. A fairly handy win in the end, but talk us through the game. Yeah, I wouldn't say a, a handy win in the end. Uh, St Francis, they're always going to be difficult um, oppositions right until the very end, and they definitely were that. Um, but yeah, I suppose we got off to um, a slow start, but picked things up and um, yeah, delighted to get the win in the end. Talk us through how the game developed from your point of view. Um, yeah, look, St Francis, they've got some fantastic individuals all across the field, like their backs are very strong midfield and then they've a couple of um, forwards up front that are always going to be a threat, so um, I suppose from our perspective we needed to keep those threats at bay and uh, focus on our own game. I think over the last couple of um, games that's something that we're trying to do now is just focus on ourselves and not worry too much about the opposition. If we get our own game right, um, you know, we're happy enough with that then. In most sports, a game like today where you're already pretty much guaranteed a semi-final spot might be an opportunity to try some younger talent coming through, but of course you can't really do that with a second team. You'd lose them from that grade. How much of an inconvenience is that to maybe get miss out on those girls getting a test of senior football? Yeah, look, it's it's unfortunate, especially for the girls themselves, I suppose, sometimes because they're not getting that um, chance at senior football. But the junior team, it's um, it's really, really important, especially when you have the numbers. It's so, so important that every girl is, is getting football because I suppose you do have your, your couple of subs, but there'd be a lot of girls that wouldn't get a game if we didn't have that second team. So um, it's, it's really, really important for us. And those junior games, there's some fantastic teams in that competition, so it's going to bring on those girls. Um, and look, we'll see where we go if we have to use subs and means taking them away from the junior team. Every girl is chomping at the bit to get a chance to play at senior, so it works both ways. Uh, but yeah, it's, it can be unfortunate for some girls if, you're, if you are holding them off just for the junior team. Of course, three championships in a row up to now. We know all about Glen Carmanor as opponents for you in the last two finals, but Ballinamore have come from almost from nowhere, really, a semi-final appearance last year, but didn't really put it up to you in that encounter. They drew with you in Carrie Gallon two weeks ago. They beat Manor Hamilton last week. They've really announced themselves on this stage. How much of a threat are they now? And it's really a three-horse race. Yeah, I suppose um, there's there's definitely other teams there as well. Like I wouldn't say Kiltubbard are completely gone either. Um, but Ballamore, they were definitely a strong team. I, I know myself. I definitely would have rated them high even last year in that semi-final. We didn't have it easy. Um, the score on might have reflected differently. So um, yeah, look, they, they're definitely putting it up to the likes of ourselves. Obviously, Manor Hamilton last week. So they're going to be there or thereabouts. And obviously, their their eyes are probably set in the prize now as well. So um, yeah, look, there's it's going to be an interesting uh, couple of weeks now. Of course, Manor Hamilton is your final game next week. Uh, you may also face them twice in the coming weeks, depending on how the permutations fall at the semi-final stage. Uh, what do you do knowing that next week is, is almost a dead rubber in terms of progression to the semi-finals, although it will have an impact on where you finish and, and who you finish up, up playing in that semi-final? Yeah, I suppose we haven't looked anywhere beyond the group stages um, and I really, really mean that we don't think about a semi-final or anything um, past a, a game every weekend. So um, this weekend we just focused on St Francis and now this weekend in our preparation for training we will focus on Manor Hamilton um, and on their strengths. But um, yeah, we, we definitely won't look beyond um, next weekend. That's, that's our number one focus and we'll see where we're at after next weekend and then we'll focus on... Um, going off that but next weekend is, is a big task ahead of us and we know that already obviously we're here in Ahavas there's a good atmosphere here at the men's match it's their first game of the campaign which yeah. is kind of bizarre to think that you've played four games some of the senior men's teams have played five games and are out of the championship after five games and Ahavas only getting their season going today yeah, it's, it's mad to think it. I know they got, were a bit unfortunate um, the first weekend where all will and um, that game didn't go ahead and then they were due to play on the Duff there a couple of weeks ago. So, uh, yeah, look, they're putting in a good display today. So it'll just be delighted for the lads to get off to a good start as well. It seems like they're going to win this game comfortably. So, um, yeah. As well as that, there's a good community spirit here, particularly around the whole All In for AINA campaign that's been a, a major success for such a small rural part of the country to come together in the manner in which they have is, is phenomenal. Yeah, look, Yvonne Inna's mother was a past player of St. Joseph's. She was actually on our 2012 um, winning senior championship team as well as Sandra. Um, Joan is heavily involved and Breed, of course, and then the late Eamon. So um, the community spirit has been absolutely unbelievable. Um, just seeing so many people like yourselves, the publicity that we've got, just everyone rallying around. And yeah, the club um, and county scene and even all around the globe, um, the support that has come in and just lovely words of encouragement for Eamon. Um, so it's it's really, really good and uh, we just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that supported 
us, like all the games um, and the gates, all the funds that came towards it, um, it's absolutely fantastic and it's been very much appreciated by the Brady family and by St Joseph's Club just to see so many people rally around us. Well listen, well done today, well done on everything the club have been up to for the last few uh, weeks. I know everyone in the community has been involved in that. Yeah, thank you very much, Brefney.